By now, you should all know that ChatGPT can help you solve problems. But the question is, can it help you build a Shopify app? That's what we're going to find out after this intro. In today's video, we're going to use ChatGPT to build a Shopify app that will basically just console.log the products from our development store. Now, the reason why this is very simple, as you all know, if you can develop a Shopify app, you can just use Shopify CLI and it will basically give you the default Shopify app. It's very straightforward. But knowing ChatGPT, it's going to give you an answer that is so bad. It'll just give you a command like Shopify app create node. And then it will ask you to install a library from years ago that is no longer available or is deprecated. So if ever ChatGPT does that, I'll try to give it the correct answer. I'll just prompt another question with the right answer and maybe it'll help. At least that's my plan. I'll try to also, I'll try to pretend that I don't know anything about Shopify app development just so you and I will be entertained. This is gonna be a terrible video, I swear. And anyway, without further ado, let's go back to our computer and start working. We're here in the browser and we have here ChatGPT. Now, this is not subscribed to any subscription or ChatGPT Plus subscription, just so you know. So we're all in the same um, level. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is to make a prompt. What I usually tell people whenever they use ChatGPT is that make a very specific prompt. If you want to build a web application, give it all the information that you can give as much as possible. Like what kind of app do you want to build? What kind of tools do you want to use? Is it Node? Is it React? Is it Vue? What about the database? Are you using MongoDB? Are you using MySQL? And so on. But in our case, since we are quote unquote beginner, that do not know anything about programming, we'll just give it as much info as we can imagine. So let's try that. Here in the chat, we're going to say, hi, chat GPT. Be respectful because we don't know in the future, maybe he's going to be sentient and you know, you wanna save your app. Please develop a Shopify app using the latest version of Shopify CLI and the app should be a remix app. And lastly, after installing the app, the app should display all of the products from the development store. Very simple Shopify app. Now, it's interesting because if you take a look, I said, please develop a Shopify app using the latest version of Shopify CLI. Why did I say that? One of the big problems when using AI, especially ChatGPT, is that it doesn't know the newest tools like Shopify CLI or Remix even. So we want to give it a very specific information to help it. Hey, I want to build a Shopify app using this tool. Because if you just say, please develop a Shopify app using Shopify CLI, it's going to give you the Shopify CLI that is like years ago and it's going to give you a command that is no longer available so let's try this okay to build a shopify app using the latest version of shopify CLI with remix framework blah 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 prerequisites we have here shopify partners account obviously we need to create that development store we need to create a development store we need to install node.js shopify CLI and Angrok. I always forget that I need to role play as a beginner. So we need to install um, Shopify CLI, install it. Install Angrok for local development. Okay, now this is something that I did not expect. Usually when you install Shopify CLI, Angrok is already there. So you do not need this. Let's take a look at the command. So install Shopify CLI. If you haven't installed Shopify CLI yet, run the following command. npm install global at Shopify CLI at Shopify theme, okay? Honestly, you don't need the Shopify theme. You can just use the Shopify CLI, that's fine. And then create a new Shopify app. Use the following command to create a new Shopify app using Remix framework. Shopify app create Remix. This is not the right command, but we're going to try that, okay? Okay, so I have here my VS code. If you don't have VS Code, make sure that you have it installed if you want to follow along. But here I have my VS Code and let's just open the terminal. 
so we can try all the commands that it has given us. So here in the PowerShell, we're going to type Shopify. I already have Shopify CLI installed, so I'm not going to bother installing it again. But just in case you want me to do it, let's do npm install global at Shopify forward slash CLI at latest. So it's just going to update the Shopify CLI, which is good, I guess. Okay, so that's done. Let's try to type Shopify version to see the version of our Shopify CLI. 3.67. I believe that is good. Next step is to use the following command to create a new Shopify app using Remix framework. Shopify app create Remix. Let's try that. Shopify app create Remix. Let's press enter. And there you go. As you can see, we have an error here or a problem. Command app create remix not found. Did you mean app release? It's interesting because it's not, there's no such thing as app create or remix. To create a new Shopify app, you need to run Shopify app in it. That will create a Shopify app. But okay, that's what ChatGPT gave us. Uh, let's try to fix that. Let's go here and type once again. It's interesting because there's a very long response. I wonder what would happen if it actually worked, but it didn't. So let's try and fix that. Let's say the Shopify app create remix. Let's wrap that with tick symbol, back tick symbol, so that it knows that it's a code. The Shopify app create remix command is not available in the latest version of Shopify CLI. We're off to a good start. You're right, the Shopify app create remix command has been deprecated. Uh, I'm glad that you realized that. And the Shopify CLI now defaults to using either Express or Ruby for creating new... What? Remix can still be integrated manually into... Sh no, no. But it's not directly supported out the box by Shop. Here's how you can manually create a Shopify app using the latest Shopify CLI and then integrate it with. Okay, install Shopify CLI. We did that. Create a new Shopify app. Create, no, no, I told you there's no such thing as create. No, there's no such thing. Okay, now this is just, okay, let's try it again. Let's try it again. I believe you are confused. Let's be respectful, okay. The Shopify app create is no longer available. Okay, let's just see if it fixes its answers. Since the Shopify CLI no longer has the app create command, okay, we're off to a good start. Use the following command to create a new app based Node.js. This might work actually. Okay, let's try it. Okay, so here in the terminal once again, let's type npm init. You know what? I'm scared. I don't want to mess up my um, user folder. So I'm going to create a new folder and I'll just type here chat GPT nonsense. Okay, now let's just change our current directory to that folder. And then let's type here the command that it told us. So npm init um, at Shopify forward slash app at latest. I'm not sure if that's going to work, but it could. Okay, we're off to a good start, let's go. Welcome, let's get started by naming your app project. You can change it later also. Let's just call this weekly how GPT, yeah. Okay, next one, get started building your app, build a remix app, there you go, nice. For your remix template, which language do you want? JavaScript or TypeScript? Did it tell us what to do next? The so will guide you through the setting of the app, app name. Okay, we did that. Choose the language. Oh, it actually knows it. We'll choose TypeScript, okay? Okay, so now it's initializing the project with NPM. That is good. I'm actually very surprised. I thought it's not gonna work. But let's not get ahead of ourselves because I'm expecting an issue, okay? I'm expecting something will happen. you damn right about that. <laughs> okay, so now it's done. Weekly how GPT is ready for you to build. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is to navigate to our app directory. So here we have the command cd your app name. So let's just type here cd 
Weekly How GPT. Press enter and then we need to install and integrate Remix. That's interesting because we already created a an app, a Remix app. So I don't think we need to um, do this. It's just going to overwrite some stuff. So we're not going to do that. Next one is set up the environment variables. Before we do that, let's open the project here in VS Code. So code dot. Beginners usually do not know that command, but yeah. Okay, so here I have a couple of files. We're looking for the env file and we don't have that. Or we need to open the Shopify.app.toml. We need to edit this and make sure that we have a scope of read products. So here, read underscore products, comma. Make sure that there's no space. I believe we are good. We do not need to add Shopify API key because as soon as we run the Shopify app dev, it's going to set up everything for us. That's how it should be. But according to ChatGPT, we need to set this up. So, okay, let's follow that. Let's create a new env file. I'm afraid this is gonna break the app. So let's just see that env and we need to copy all of this, paste it here. We need to put our, our Shopify app API key and we do not have a Shopify app. So let's go and open the Shopify.dev and then click log in. Not to be dramatic, but I wanna die. This so let's just open a Shopify app. Let's take a look at this weekly how. And we can just copy the client ID, that's the API key. Let's put it here. And the client secret, put it here. Okay. So for the scopes, read products and write products. And for the host, I do not have any Angrok URL. So let's just leave it with local host 3000. That is not good, but let's just leave it like that, okay? Okay, what is the next step? Get your Shopify API credentials. That's good, we, we did that already. Set up the Shopify API client. Now that the Remix is set up, we'll add the Shopify API client. Create a new file in the Remix app at app, app. Huh? And there's no such thing as live Shopify server.js. We have here the Shopify server.ts already, and it's this. So I don't think we need to do anything else. But this is what I'm talking about. Like we already have here the Shopify API key, the secret, the, um, the scopes, the Shopify app URL. The reason why we already have this is because as soon as we run this um, app, it's going to create an environment file. Now, since we already have here the ANV file, I'm curious what it's gonna do. Is it going to overwrite everything or not? We'll find out later. I'm not going to do this because we already have the Shopify server at TS. Everything is already set here, so we're good. Number seven, fetch products in Remix. So next, modify the Remix app to fetch products from Shopify store and display them. So we have the app, routes, and index.jsx. So app, routes, uh, index, route.tsx. Um, I think it's talking about this. I might, I might be wrong, but I think it's talking about this. And here we have fetch products from Shopify API. Interesting. That's interesting. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of this and just YOLO, paste it here. Bam, error. Okay, I get why we have this error because previously it's supposed to be referenced like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix this like this and like this. Do we have the Shopify there? Yeah, we have. So export const loader async. We have here the Shopify.off get session. This does not exist, I believe. Yep. So what we can do is we can go to the Shopify server.ts and look at the auth. We don't have any auth in here. We have authenticate. A few inches later. Okay, so since this code does not work, what we're going to do is to just supply the um, the chat with 
the current code that we have here. Maybe that will work. So here, I'll just copy this, and I'll just paste it here, and then we'll tell it this is the current code in the index.tsx. How can I fetch the products from my online store? What it's going to do is going to rewrite everything. So to fetch products from your Shopify online store, you can modify the existing code by integrating the Shopify admin API inside the loader function. Since we already have server-side setup using Remix Run node, you can use the Shopify credentials to authenticate and fetch product data. And here in the index, we basically just import the get products function that we have here in the Shopify server.ts. Okay, let's try that. Let's go back to Shopify server.ts and then we're going to create this function. So export async function get products shop domain is a string and then we need to pass here the get session. Now the problem with this is that there's no such thing as auth. We just have here the authenticate and if we use that, there's no such thing as get session. I believe we can't go um, beyond this. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell it that there's no such thing as Shopify auth get session. So here we're going to tell it get session is not defined. There's no such thing as that. Here is the Shopify.server.ts. We should inform it that this is what we have. So with that, it should know what to do next. Since you're using the Shopify app remix package and the session management is handled differently, we can modify the code to use the correct methods, okay? You're using Prisma session storage, which means sessions are already stored and managed. So here is the updated index.tsx, and we can just get the session from the session storage, which we defined it here. Okay, let's try that. Maybe this one will work. Let's get rid of this and go back to the route.tsx. And here in the loader, underneath of this if, we're just going to fetch the session from the storage. So constant session ID is equal to await session storage from the Shopify server. It should import it automatically for us and get session. I'm about to lose my shit, I swear to God. I'm not sure if that's going to work. We're getting error, so I don't think that's it. Argument of type string null is not assignable to the parameter of string. What about the rest resource? Register rest. There's no rest resources. So those are not available. Let's type it here again. Rest resources and get session from session storage is not available. Thank you for the clarification. Since REST resources and get session are not available, let's update the approach to correctly handle session using the Shopify app remix package. So the step-by-step -step solution is we retrieve the session using the authenticated admin method. Okay, I can see that working. Using the REST API to fetch the products. Okay, let's try that. Instead of constant session ID, we'll do const and then we'll get the session and the API from the authenticate admin. So await um, authenticate. I can see this working. And then we pass here the request. Okay. I can see this working, but there's no API. Yeah, API does not exist. So what is inside of the admin? So we have session, we have admin, and we have billing. That's all we have. Methods for interacting with a GraphQL REST admins API. So I believe this is what we should be using instead of API. So we have here admin. Maybe we can tell it API from the authenticate that admin does not exist. We have the admin though. I like the fact I'm just correcting this. Thank you for pointing that out. Given that API does not exist in the structure returned by authenticate admin, but we have admin, we can directly use that. Okay, this one should work now. So here we have the admin session, and we can just fetch the products. So constant products response is equal to await admin dot rest. There we go. Dot 
get. Okay, there's no product. We just have all of this. Let's try resources. Dot. Okay, we have a list of stuff here. And let's look for product. Product dot all. There you go. And then we need to pass here the session. The session. There you go. See? This is wrong. This is how you should do it. Okay, so we get the product's response. We just need the data inside of that. Okay? So here we'll create the same const products and then we'll do the products response and then the data. There we go. And then we'll just pass it here in the JSON. We'll do products and then we'll pass here products. There we go. And now we can access this here in the app. So we'll create a new variable here, a new const, and we'll just create the products. We'll get the products from the use loader data. Type of loader. Loader. There we go. Now we have the products. We can now, I believe, just console log whatever we have there. Console.log products. Okay, so I think we're good. Now the next thing we're going to do is to build the app. So here, open the terminal. Let's see what will happen. So here, we'll just type, instead of npm run dev, honestly, we can do npm run dev, but it's much safer to use Shopify app dev instead. I know I'm not following the commands anymore. Whatever. Here in the terminal, we'll use Shopify app dev. Okay, to run this command, log into Shopify. User verification code rd, mm, okay. I guess we need to copy this. Okay, so now I'm logged in. Now let's just select the development organization. There we go. Now before proceeding, your project needs to be associated with an app. Let's just create a new app. The app name, Weekly How GPT. That's fine. Next one, which Shopify store would you like to use to view your project? Let's use Weekly How GPT. Make this store transfer disabled for security. Once you use the development store to preview an app locally, the store can never be transferred. Yeah, that's fine. There you go. Now it's successful. Have Shopify automatically update your app URLs. Yes, update. Okay, now it's doing all the processing. And I believe everything looks good. Okay, it's doing the migrations. Now I'm curious because we created the env file ourselves. So if I open this, I wonder what happened. Okay, so it did not change anything. I wonder if it's going to break that. But let's just give it some time because it's building. A few inches. Okay, now the migrations have been successful. So let's try. So I'll just press P to open the preview. And that should start doing something. We need to choose an account. We can now install. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we have view and edit store data. We just need products, that's all. Install. I have a bad feeling about this. It's taking some time. It should not take that long, but let's try and reload it. Okay, there you go. I think we're good. I think we are good. Now let's open the inspect and the console. Let's take a look if there is a console log. There is no logs. Oh, it actually worked. So we have here an array of zero. The reason why it's zero, it's just because we don't have a product. So let's try and generate a product. There we go, product is created. We have the yellow snowboard. Now let's try and open the console once again. And there we go, we have the yellow snowboard. Yeah! And there we go, we have successfully built a Shopify app. It was, um, it was a wild ride. Honestly, you can build a Shopify app in just 10 minutes or less but ChatGPT just made it very, very complicated. I expected that, so...
no hard feelings. So if ever you want to build the Shopify app, you can just refer to my previous video, Shopify app development in 2024, and I show you there how to build a Shopify app using the latest version of Shopify CLI. And speaking of the latest version of Shopify CLI, recently Shopify released another version of Shopify CLI, so I'm going to cover that again. I'm tired.